Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to merge multiple graphs to a single image and use in Microsoft Word in high quality. So let's get started. So guys, first of all, these are four different graphs and they represent different images. So just for convenience, I'm going to assume that these are my four different graphs which I'm going to use and I will show you how you can merge them in a single graph. Okay, first of all, Starting with slide 2 with the first graph, I'm going to reduce its size and let's say I will keep it like this. Similarly, I will go back here, I will cut this one, go back here, paste it here. Now, I will check what is the size of this graph. So this is 3.63, I'm going to click here and we're going to make sure that this is also uh, same height and width. So now, remember one thing that these graphs are made in origin. If your graphs are in Excel, so you must import them in Microsoft Word and then Microsoft PowerPoint and then use them. Okay. So these graphs are currently pictures. So even if I reduce the size and increase the size, they, it won't uh, affect its dimension or anything and it will be, uh, the expect ratio for the graph will be the same. Okay. So now these two graphs are also similar. So just for convenience, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that, uh, this one is separate, separate graph, this one is separate graph. And then, a total of a total of four graphs I have in my uh, uh, fig in my figure section to show. So representing each graphs one by one takes a lot of space and a lot of time. To uh, a lot of space uh, in actual. So what you can do is that you can make them like this. Select all and make them a little bit more smaller. It doesn't matter if it's too big in this PowerPoint slide that uh, it doesn't affect at all when you place in Microsoft Word. So just for um, just for the ease and it look it much better over here. I'm going to do it like this. So now. I'm going to reduce the space as much as possible and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to insert section to go to text box and write the section numbers. Now this is A, I'm going to increase its size, uh, make it bold and make sure this, these are same as the one I'm using. Uh, okay, this is Calibri, so I'm going to use it the same font as I'm using it. So I'm going to put A over here, put B over here and then select both of them, control, shift and then you can see a small plus and uh, uh, arrow sign. Now right click over here and drag it down to the second graphs. So now once you're done with this one, go over here, click on B, click on C and click on D. So now guys, these graphs are actually made in origin. So in order to make yourself uh, comfortable, it doesn't matter whether you make an origin or whether you make in PowerPoint. To merge different graphs in a single graph, you can use Microsoft PowerPoint to do that uh, thing. So now you will see that these graphs are done. You are going to select all, control and A. Now you can see that they all, all are selected. Right click over here, go to group options and select on group. Now this is one complete image now. Okay, now whether you drag it somewhere here, it is not going to move. But if you want to change something, you can just simply click inside and you can change whatever you want. Okay, so now this is the graph. I'm going to copy this graph, control C. I'm going to go in Microsoft Word. Now once I'm in Microsoft Word, I'm going to go here in the paste option click here, click on paste special and then click on picture enhance meta file. Once you click on enhance meta file, you will notice one thing that the graph comes within the ma margins of the Microsoft Word. Now this is the graph. Now you, no matter how much you zoom in, the quality of the graph doesn't uh, get destroyed because it is an enhanced meta file. Okay. It might look like that this part is uh, not coming in the, in the word, but uh, make sure it is coming because I have zoomed too much and the graphics are not supporting it. Okay, so now once you're done with this one, you can right click, put a caption, whatever you want. Let's say figure figure one and say uh, graphical representation, uh, whatever, representation of X, Y, and Z, and then you are done. So you can put it in the middle, make sure it's not italic, depends upon which uh, what kind of uh, manuscript you're submitting to, and then you can easily make changes like this, and then make it black as usual, and then make it bold and here we go so you have a beautiful graph in your in your manuscript instead of putting one by one because if you put one graph individually which i'm going to show you right now is for example if you just copy this one and if you go here in your manuscript and let's say i'm just going to simply paste it so imagine you have this graph like this in the middle and then you have four more graphs following this graph it won't look better. So it's good that you uh, you merge all the similar graphs in one image and then explain one by one in the main text. I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't watched my previous videos, do watch them. I'll try to make similar content and smaller videos so that you can guys you guys can get benefit from it. And till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.